Hey everybody, how y'all doing? Are you hey okay? In your neck of the woods? What up? What up? Manners and respect, man. Are your girl, Debbie from Dollar Yard. Welcome you all to the Jamaican kitchen. Welcome once more to the Jamaican cooking journey. And if you're a new subscriber, our new subscribers over here, welcome once more. And thank you so much for joining the family. Now today, what we want to do, we want to do for you a pressure roasted old chicken we want to roast a chicken in a pressure cooker you know that now go take the time that's it on all does it it might sound technical but it's not it's just easy so what you want to do you want to have a whole chicken um if you have not yet seen my first whole chicken video you need to go check it out and see how i cleaned it and all of that get from the inside clean look right in camera girl you know what i have no bloody bloody so go see that we have that make sure you have all them little loose feathers and something all picked off and all of that cleanse your chicken how you do your chicken now you want to season your chicken but you don't want to season your chicken with a whole of a little loose condiments on the outside okay y'all for makers what we're gonna do after we season it and leave it to like soak up a little bit we're gonna start and brown it off in the pressure cooker so you know want a whole of extra on the outside how that season and something like it will burn quick so what i'm gonna use right here and now i'm gonna first use a little salt so you have to put a little pan on it right here at the end so you're going to want to use so you're going to use one hand to turn it because according to them with the chicken and the ray and all them tete and something so you want to use a little bit of salt not a lot of salt eh? all right you're going to put on everything so now that we have used salt let's put on the powdery things first so i'm going to put on a little paprika and i told you paprika the smoke one gives flavor and color but this is not the smoke one this is just like the regular one so this is paprika this one is going to be for a little coloring so i'm going to just put this for now hmm? we're going to use a little soy sauce use your soy sauce you see the consistency of mine it's hard to have a little body but don't use a lot you know so me tell you like how much this is a like almost a four pound chicken okay I'm using like a little Worcestershire sauce and this now have no something so I'm just gonna use this is for like flavoring it's all for flavoring I'm using right here a little chili powder use what you want if you notice what we are used so far it will give the chicken a nice pretty little color we are looking a nice pretty color to this chicken I am going to definitely use and try to use one hand to hold this, the, 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 the things and then the other hand for, for the chicken for now. Eh? So we have, may I use a little pimento powder and all of that. So you trim up your chicken how you want. My neck is neck and my chicken is still on. You want to cut off your neck, you cut off your neck. Eh? I'm going to put my hand in a bag. If you have your gloves and something, you go ahead. Why? Normally I'll use my bare hands, but I'm allergic to the pimento. So I'm going to use this bag right now. For massage my chicken on the hin and on the hoe. You want to get a nice color to this chicken. You understand? From now, a nice pretty color. So we are gonna massage off this nice sexy little bird here. In and out. Maybe a little roughness of one sometime, but not too rough with her. You understand? Because she can't take too much of the roughness. This is the color that you want to have, and you could do a little rubbing on the inside and all of that so massage off and all of them something there see it? yeah do your do give your chicken the flavor that you want but remember i told you do not you try to use liquids do not use too much of a whole heap like you know them whole heap you notice me that i use my thyme and all them something you season it a different way because you can season your thing a, a different 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 ways so I'm going to give it a little wash over yonder, yes or no? Because we want to get these two little wings and these two little feet all staying together. When I want them to fly all over in the pressure cooker. You're going to use some kitchen string to start um, this to tie this thing. You want to make a slip knot. So when you make the slip knot, you put it over one of the wing like that. Please behave yourself, ma'am. Okay. You want to make the slip knot over one of the wings. Slip knot and you pull it. So now that you get it over it, you're going to bound this other little one. 
Don't make sure rule you. You understand? Real tight. Do not make this look a foul. Rule you. You get your kitchen string, whatever color. Right? And you bound the two wings. Then you lift her up and you carry her around. You understand? We're trying to get the two legs together too. So do not let this little lady please, please rule in your kitchen. Remember, I always tell us how for your kitchen, how you run your kitchen. Hmm? We want to get the two legs properly bound together. So you give it some strong tie and all of that. So, as so she has got enough. So we are go. And you come right at the end there. So now, you make another knot. Go around again and again. Just for security. Security. Tie that little part here. That next little pretty part down here. So, carry it back around. I hope you are looking at what I am doing. Please behave yourself. Because I am going to get you all tied. Alright. Let me get it round. Okay. Please to be here now what I am doing. I guess you would love to see how you are supposed to be doing this eh so you want to inside right under here you must know that man you make a little knot eh so i could finish this cut it and come back and tell you where i go deal with eh? okay now we get this nice little girl under control don't worry about these strings when it's when it's finished when it's cooked you can just use the kitchen scissors and clip them and they will be released so where you want to use now you want to use your plastic wrap or anything where you have because look here, we're leaving this thing out. We're leaving this thing to marinate for about 15 minutes or so. 15 to 20 minutes, eh? So, me now put it in another fridge. So, if you want to go put yours in the fridge, you can go on. I have rubbed it up with a lot of things. So, because if me forgot put it in another fridge, me I forgot wait now until, um, whatever. If I was leaving it overnight or if I've done it from morning or from maybe like two to three hours, then I'll put it in the fridge. But at this point, me now put it in another fridge. So, me I stretch my piece of plastic here and leave it right there. I'm leaving it right here under the piece of plastic. Eh? So, right here under the plastic for about 15 to 17 minutes. When we return, we are going to use some garlic. You know, me have to use garlic and ginger. But I didn't use it to season the chicken because I didn't want the looseness of it when I'm browning the chicken. So, when we return, you'll see what we're going to do next family all um, you know this was almost like 20 minutes so we have a little chicken oil inside here been eaten and that is like about quarter cup if you have plain oil but if you have good good used chicken oil i always say to you, you can use it for chicken because it has more flavor so we're going to put in make sure say your garlic them not mash out fine fine we're going to put in some garlic and some ginger right in here to flavor the oil and this is being done on i eat we're just going to make it swirl around in there. We're not going to leave it in there to burn because it is going to be browning with the chicken. So once you put in it, probably about 20-30 seconds after, you're going to put in this little bird here. Okay? Use your fork or if you have them, something the way you use. Hold up, I don't remember what them name because I know everything I remember today. Today is not a nice day. Very carefully, right down in there. I eat and you're going to brown it from side to side so as soon as one side is down now come and show you what it looks like and then we go on the other side in, and you show you how to see yeah okay now family you notice we turn it on the stomach now so we brown off the back a little like this maybe you can burn it a little more too so as soon as we brown off the stomach and the two sides we're going to return to show you how to see when you return everything to the top even now have a nice little brown color so we're going to show you how we do from here yeah Okay, now come on. Let me get it brown off on all the sides so I left it on the low. Now that it has been browned off, during your browning time, you need to make sure these don't burn. If they are used to they're getting too brown, you remove them. But when you're gonna pressure it now, you put them back in there. Have a the flavor. Hmm? Now it's on the low. At this point now, we're gonna put a little water. You know enough to throw it on the chicken, but it's boiled water. Why you don't want to put it? on too high because you see this was low and you see what happened so this holy part thing also so we're going to put some more to this side and look here now okay we put a little to that side it's like about you're going to put about a cup and a quarter i will tell you all of that in the comments in in, in the description i'm sorry 
today is not a nice day for me but i'm pulling through so bring up your heat now to about medium now look at the color of the liquid in there you see the color it has a brown color so we want the chicken to come with that color we don't want the chicken to come with no you know no little and scrupulous looking color all right you're going to cover your pressure now mm? cover your pressure wow bring it back down to less than medium almost to low not fully low the ice on my stove is six so i've left it at two so if you have something like mine you can leave it at two because that is our next next to low now this chicken is four pounds you're going to pressure it on the almost low for at five minutes per pound five minutes per pound so we have little much to do yes so. so five times for how much camera girl 20 20 wara 20 dollar or 20, 20 minutes pound. 20 minutes okay talk low let the party the, the family here 20 minutes oh so we're gonna leave it on the low to pressure for 20 minutes five minutes to each one that means if you fall at 10 pound you don't know say a 50 minute you understand we need to look at multiplication as well but two minutes so remember me ask the camera girl when we return pressured roast chicken Oh no, no, I'm not left on our road. And remember, the 20 minutes of pressure time is from when the things start going off. You know that's something that the, the, um, the weight starts to ch -ch -ch 20 minutes from that time because that's when it starts to cook, when it starts to the steam bill and it starts releasing. So I just want to clarify that 20 minutes from the steam starts building up in there. Okay, family, my 20 minutes has been expired and i have left my pressure to cool now if you notice it's almost falling apart that's why we tried to tie the wings and the legs because this is going to be a really really soft and juicy chicken hmm? now today's idea of challenges for me and this is the most challenging part of this trying to get it out you don't want to use something to cool it like this because it is so juicy and soft it might just break open so let me see what me I gotta do now. Let me see how me can work mine. Okay, give me a little bit. Cut. What I want to do, I want to get a spatula. I take up my one, you notice. Oops, Opa Jesus. Drain the excess liquid, please, please. Hold it, hold it. Is your chicken, and we get it like that. That is why we tied the wings and the legs because it is gonna be so soft so juicy all right let it stay there and get to rest now this is liquid so we're gonna go back now put your stove on medium and you want to let me just rinse my hand this is so easy y'all this is so easy you want to get a nice i'm using some barbecue sauce use what you like to thicken this liquid because we want to get something thick so may i put some barbecue sauce in that forget it a little thicken up and to cook down a bit because we want to use it to pour over this chicken okay so we are going to put our little sauce get it all thickened and when we return we are going to show you how we are going to deal with this thing here roast chicken eh? okay remember to remove your string remember i told you how you tie it you just clip it but for presentation purpose we're not going to remove the string right now but remember to remove your string what we have done now and i've had it just a little bit more soy sauce to get it a little brown so we want we have gone ahead and we have make a nice thick little gravy thing so we want to spoon it over it a little kind of way hmm? you just spoon it over it make it look nice this is so nice and this is so juicy so you can spoon it over it feel like you have fix your table and you can put the rest of it in a little container if it's serving at the table and people can serve themselves look at this this is so lovely this is so beautiful you all and while i'm doing that i'm gonna be presenting from my kitchen to yours from my jamaican kitchen to wherever you are to your plate to your father's day table it's pressured roast chicken and we did it in a decent way look here let me go and get a little cleaning up around that okay hello things not so nice today is a very challenging day for debbie don't i you know what i'm saying if you notice right over here i have a different layout 
I don't have any microwave. Remember, just wake up to that this morning and guess what happened? It's just not to really me take it. Uh, you guys always say what happened. Your microwave broke. Well, this is one I just mash up. You just mash up. So, you know, your microwave is always there for you and all of that. So, there you have it. Your pressured roasted old chicken. Please remember to like, share, and most of all, subscribe. When you do subscribe, remember to smack that bell, irrespective of what happened to the microwave. I've got to ask you to remember to subscribe. When you subscribe and smack the bell, please leave your comments below. And thank you so much, all of you who have been donating or have donated already. I saw about two people, um, but I know it's mischief. It's mischief. Let me not see a button, may not see a donation button. But I'm, I'm smart. I'm not so stupid. Enough. I know it's just mischief. So, those of you who would like to make a contribution to West Indian Delights channel, please and thank you so much. You can just go to the About section of my channel. There is a donation button. It is PayPal. You can click it and it will lead you to wherever you can make your donation. Thank you, thank you so much. Once more, from my kitchen to yours, it's pressured roast chicken in a decent way. If you have got a... Those electric... um. You know what I'm talking about? Them new sitting there, one of them really new. Those electric um, pressure cooker, you might want to go a little less because they are more powerful than the regular pressure cooker. Please enjoy. So, once more, bless, no stress.